Let's make a Dollar Tree Valentine's wreath using a sign. Keep watching. Welcome back, y'all. Today we're going to be using some ribbon. I'm going to use a variety. I like wired ribbon for these bows. So I've got a couple here from Dollar Tree and the thrift store, and it's just a piece of scrap. Here's the sign we're going to use. Really nice sign. You're going to need some greenery, whatever you choose. And we're going to use some roses or flowers of your choice in a few different sizes. You can use the wonderful ones they have at Dollar Tree, or you can use thrifted ones like I'm using. And you know, I always show you a variety of stuff. Some of this I might not use, some of it I will use and then we'll be adding to it. So we're gonna use this 14 inch square wire wreath from Dollar Tree and I've just wrapped that with burlap. This is one I've used for many different projects in the past. We're gonna go ahead and remove the hanger and tag from the sign and figure out where we wanna put it. So we could do it in the center or we could do it off to the side and I think since love is, the font is going this way, we're gonna go ahead and put it a little bit to the side. And I'm gonna start arranging my flowers. Now I intentionally put this wreath almost upside down so that the concave part is where the flowers are so that it kind of sits in that little nook. And I think this will work, something like this. So you can just take a stem or some wire, whatever you choose to attach this. I left this part in here because the these are not strong enough to poke through the burlap. So what I have decided to do is cut pieces off of a floral pick that I already had, that I'd already used. These work really good for this. So we're gonna make a little horseshoe shape and then they will go right through that burlap to the back and then you can twist those clothes almost like a bread tie you would twist a bread tie so you twist it and then just press it down on the back so that it's laying flat just like that you're going to go ahead and start adding your layers i like the greenery in the back two different size flowers here and a little more greenery in between this is some really pretty boxwood that i got from goodwill I think it's appropriate for something going, you know, close to springtime because it's some a little bit of light green on there with the dark green, almost as if it is starting to open up and starting to grow. So you see how it's sitting down in that little that little area works perfect. And you're just gonna keep layering down here. And I'm gonna even up my stems, get those out of the way, because we don't want those showing. And in order to keep the stems from showing all together, we're gonna flip one of these around and then put a little glue on there and stick it down. Or you can use another one of those wires if you like. So I'm looking at my arrangement from all angles, like I always say to do, and I'm gonna add a little here and there until I get it the way I want. And to me, it looks like a little bouquet on the side, which is fitting. Flowers for Valentine's Day, right? All right, so this is how I wanted to do my heart. Again, I'm making sure I get it where I want it. Then I'm going to add some of these fuzzy stems on the back with some hot glue and a little scrap of paper. This is going to give it a little hanger so that it can easily be removed and I can use this wreath again for another project if I want to. Kind of eyeballed it to see where I need my next attacher and right there is going to be the spot. You can get your glue sticks pretty much anywhere you want. 
Right now, I have a pack of Gorilla Glue sticks that I got from the thrift store. So that's what I'm going through right now. And I'm pleased with them. They work really well. But the cheaper ones also do a fine job. No problem. You can definitely get them from Dollar Tree in the crafter section if you like. Keep your spending down. Now we're just going to poke those through. They're not the easiest. Like I said before, it was kind of difficult to do the flowers, but just keep working with it and it'll go through here. Or you can use floral wire if you want to. That might be better. So I'm going to take this bow maker that I made and I'm going to start making my bow. In the beginning, I had three different uh, ribbons that I was going to use, but I decided in the end to leave off the ribbon that, that did not have wire in it. It's just floppy and for a bow this size, it didn't look very neat. So we're going to just leave that off. Now these loops are about five inches, which would make it a 10 inch bow. But you can make yours as big or as small as you would like. You're going to have to twist in the middle to keep your pattern side on the top because that's the side you want to show so that's what I've done here you can see I'm pinching that putting it down there and then making sure that my loops are the same twisting it in the middle I'll leave the video in a card for you so you can see how to make your own bow maker if you would like to so go watch that after this video So I have two loops on each side and I have a short tail underneath and this other tail on the top. Now I'm going to layer with a bow that's going to be an inch smaller. Each loop will be an inch smaller so then I'm, this would be approximately eight inches and I'm going to do two layers. And since this is not printed it's the same on both sides. It's much easier to do. You just keep putting it through there. You don't have to twist anything. Then we're going to cut that tail off and there you have it then to take your tie and look i used a piece of cord and broke it so i had to get my stem and wrap it around there doesn't really matter what color you use because you won't see it so if you got leftovers from christmas you can use that i'm going to dovetail my ends to give it a nice little finished look you know how to do that Cut from the outside upward and then twist it make sure that you get your the printed side upward you don't want to see the back of that you want to see the front and then you can start fluffing out your bow and it's going to go right off to the side there I'm going to take that stem and just that wire and just go right through that corner piece of burlap twist it on and poke it through the back again no glue on there means that we can use this wreath again the form again for other things so i'm just cupping under the edges to give a little more volume and there's our pretty bow i'm going to make this bow extend a little bit or appear to be extended by making some tails to put in the opposite bottom corner. I'm going to show you how you do that. We're going to take a piece of that white and red, and then we're going to take another piece of the burlap as well. That's about 12 inches, maybe 14 inches. Dovetail your ends. It's just easier before you get started if you want to do that. If not, you can attach it and then do it. All I'm doing is putting those, layering those with the darker color on top, the burlap on the top. So I'm going to show you how that you just pinch that right in the center, just folded it over to make sure it's actually the center, and then bend it in half. That keeps both of the pretty sides upward. That's what you want to do. Same thing here. Fold it over. Walk your fingers toward each other, pinching it in the middle, and then kind of pressing downward. Layer those up. 
going to get a piece of floral wire or a piece of um, the chenille stem like this and you're just going to pinch it and then twist it so that you secure it in the middle. This is going to attach those two layers together and give you a little something to put a dot of glue on so you can put it down there in the bottom. It just extends that pattern through the wreath. So see here on the end, you just put it there on the bottom, tuck it underneath with a little bit of glue. You don't need a lot. I was running out in my glue gun, so it looks like I put a lot on there, but I didn't. And just attach that straight to those stems. So that's extending that stripe that's in the bow, that's in the wreath, that's in the uh, sign there, and on and through the end of the wreath. And I think it gives it a nice look. All right, so that large pick that you saw me have in the beginning, I'm going to cut that into little pieces and I'm going to add some of these here and there. I think it needs just a little something extra. And then I wanted to add some up here to move that floral over to the other side. Give it a little extra something. So I have a little piece of the boxwood and just a little bit of that spray of flowers there. So go back through, trim the tails if you need to, uh, curl them under, flag them out, whichever way makes you happy, and complete your wreath. And that is it. Thank you guys for hanging in there during COVID season. My husband and I both were diagnosed with COVID and I had a longer than anticipated recovery, but I am back at it and I'm back making videos. And thank you so much for your patience during that time and during the Christmas holidays while my kiddos were home. But I'm back at it and I've got lots of things planned. No more winter material for me, but we have plenty of things coming for Valentine's and for spring. So be sure that you subscribe if you like budget-friendly content and come back and see me really soon. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.